with with work when you're introducing yourself do you guys ever have that thing it's like okay we're gonna go around in a circle and introduce ourselves oh yeah everybody does that yeah but did you ever see a time where someone was introducing themselves and their voice was quivering sort of but you know those types of people they will generally try to end it quick hey my name yes. is so and so and i'm this thank you so much like that's it mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. don't want to be on stage for too long yes where if this ever happens to any of the listeners your voice is quivering a lot first of all you want to fix your body language and the second thing you want to do is um let's say you actually have to talk for a long time it's not just a hey qu quickly introduce yourself let's say it's actual speech you want to understand that within 10 to 12 seconds the quivering voice melts away you'll be shocked but it does melt away you're not going to spend the entire five minute speech just having a quivering voice or when you're nervous of giving a speech you think that's exactly what's going to happen the entire time your voice is going to quiver but your body does recalibrate and you just got to make it through the first 10 to 12 seconds after that you just speak and when you speak now you want to bring in way more energy than you initially did because you're slowly flooding out people's memories of how you began with that quivering voice and mm. after yes after when you're done you want to leave on a strong note and for people that quivering voice is in a distant memory so a lot of guys, newbie speakers what they do is when they're quivering they're like oh, i just can't do it and they just walk off stage dude what are you doing man you stay on stage until you are done with your speech public speaking is gonna yes because public speaking you're naturally good at it but i've seen so many people do throughout my time in toastmasters it is such an irrational fear because there's two types of fears one fear can kill you and the other fear you think can kill you but it really can't people always assume public speaking as a fear that could actually kill them it's a huge fear so you gotta deal with it correctly it's the quickest way to overcome shyness too, by the way, overcome social anxiety. Just learn public speaking. I agree. I, I think that's a, that's a very good point, especially the fact where you end on a good note. Mm -hmm. That's so smart where, you know, for example, right? have you ever had these instances where, for example, you, know, you fought with your wife or a girlfriend or something, but you don't want to go to bed with a fight you kind of want to sort it out before you go to sleep. Like you want to go to sleep on a good note. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's do you do that? Thing. Uh, yeah, I, I do that. For example, if, if I had like a disagreement with the wife, I, I'll finish it out before I go to sleep. I see. Do you um, like talk about your feelings with your wife? Not particularly. Um, I mean, no, not like, you know, today I'm feeling like this if it's like you know i feel a bit tired today like i worked out too much mm -hmm. that maybe yes like i'm not gonna talk like hey i feel very emotional today i want to cry like that that's that's not gonna happen yeah um, but sometimes the wife will like she will notice it for example if, if i'm working too hard and i'm feeling a bit like annoyed or frustrated she just you just see it on my face and be like hey, hey i made you something you know i made you like some kheer or some dessert here try this you'll feel good Mm -hmm, it's one mm -hmm. of the sweeter things she can do yes because i believe me and you were very capable of controlling our emotions but my girl too every now and then before a high pressure moment she'll ask the question are you nervous are you nervous and that's a very that makes you more nervous by the way. exactly <laughs> know. right right before people give speeches to the audience members always ask them that like are you nervous i would be and they're just planting these dark thoughts in their mind where you don't even want to say it like that yeah, I didn't realize I'm supposed to be nervous, but oh, now that I know man. I'm supposed to be nervous, I am nervous. Thank you. 